Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Aicha Bush. I'm a cloud developer advocate at Microsoft. In today's session, we will talk about how we can extend Copilot with document search plugin, which is available in our plugin uh, samples on GitHub. I'll show you how we can build that using Teams Toolkit and .NET. So if you're new to Copilot for Microsoft 365 extensibility story, and uh, this is uh, this uh, session is actually a part of the series. If you go to the community YouTube channel, you will see that my colleagues Bob Waldeck uh, and Gary already did a couple of sessions diving into what is uh, plugins, what is connectors, and they did a bunch of uh, samples already um, in the previous sessions. This session specifically is going to be about the plugins, and I'll show you how we you can bring your document search into uh, Copilot extensibility. Basically, how you can bring your documents into Copilot with the power of Azure AI search, um, and you can actually leverage Copilot's um, intelligence as well behind the scenes. So I just want to start with this very popular scenario in the custom ChatGPT, custom Copilot world. Um, this is a scenario where we build our custom ChatGPT experience. We call it, we actually build the app UX, which can be a chat experience, and then we build our own app orchestrator. It can be um, any type of orchestrator you prefer, and then uh, we are also responsible of uh, integrating Azure OpenAI or any LLM you prefer. Prefer. In this experience, you build your chat, a custom copilot, and then you plug in your data sources uh, and you also integrate with Azure AI Search. Benefit of uh, integrating with Azure AI Search is you can actually bring multiple different data sources, and data source can be unstructured, structured, and it can be any type of data. It can be files, documents, images, videos, so on and so forth. So it can be very diverse set of data and multiple data sets. So in this sample today we're going to talk about, we're actually tapping into something really different. What if we replace this custom chat experience with Copilot for Microsoft 365? And the only thing you need to do is building your plugin and integrating your plugin with Azure AI Search so you can make search across your data sources available. This definitely gives us the benefit because we don't need to um, think about maintaining our own um, generative AI app, and we don't need to maintain the LLM model. So Copilot itself will be our UX for when it comes to LLM, and Orchestrator we will be again using will be Copilot. And the only thing we will do is pretty much just uh, tapping and building our own data sources, bringing our data data sources into our message extension plugin using Azure AI Search. When we are using Azure AI Search here, we are actually enabling hybrid search for our search experience. And if you ask what is hybrid search, hybrid search is actually the combination of vector search and keyword search, semantic search. So if I need to give you a brief about hybrid search with Copilot for Microsoft 365, I just want to highlight that the advantage of vector search is finding information uh, that's similar to your search query. Even if you don't use the uh, accurate, uh, accurate keyword, for example, complaint, customer feedback, then um, with vector search, our system understands that it is a feedback, it is a complaint. Also, we get the advantage of keyword text search, which is the benefit of using keyword search is precision. Every time we type the same uh, keyword, every time we type the same text, we will get the exact same result. And with the semantic rank ranking, it, it improves the quality of the result for sure. Combination of these two worlds will definitely bring us strength of both of these worlds. And it can perform better together when we use both vector and keyword. So in this example, if I need to walk you through how this is going to work, we will use Copilot for Microsoft 365 as our chat app. And then we, let's say, have some data sources which has files inside. You can call this blob storage, table storage, Cosmos DB, um, SQL database, any type of data you can imagine. And we are going to create embeddings of our data using Azure OpenAI ADA model. And 
Azure AI Search already provides vector database, so you don't need to use any external or additional database for this. You can just use Azure OpenAI to create your embeddings of your data, and it will be stored inside, the indexing will be stored inside Azure AI Search. Once you create your data, and once your data is available for searching experience, we will create embeddings for our query. So when user asks something, when user um, sends a prompt to um, uh, our copilot, we will convert this data to, uh, to embeddings and then make hybrid search and then response in vector embeddings and return data, even if it's text, document, image, video, any type of data. So in this case, what we are doing is actually we are building a search experience where the data itself or the keyword itself is not a, um, very critical. We are using hybrid search because we want to get the relevant data. So we are getting data according to the similarity, not the keyword or the text itself. So let's think about a call center scenario. Let's think that we have Echo Groceries call center and each call center uh, conversation between client and agent are stored inside a blob storage as a PDF file or a Word document. And we are actually storing those information as a text. So we have our call center client transcripts available as a document. And let's say that we created all these data on um, Azure using Azure AI search. It's available in embedding format. When our user, and this user can be the agent manager uh, or agent themselves, just someone asking more information about the data, uh, th the user can ask any customer complaints recently. So basically, user is looking for any data related to complaints. We will convert this data to embedding, and embedding format will be, it's not, nothing like text, it will be a number. And then we will make search in Azure AI search, and we will retrieve related data uh, from our blob storage. Then we will convert this data back to what it is actually the format, which is in this case, it is PDF and text. So as you can see in the response, the response says that I've been an Echo Grocery customers, customer for years, but I've never had such a problem with an order before. So in this sentence, we don't actually have complaints as the, as the word. But again, thanks to semantic and vector search working together, we understand the similarity between complaints and this sentence. So that makes this scenario very unique because in this case, we don't need to provide the exact wording. So Copilot can work with Azure AI search and bring the related data, bring the similar data to our users. I want to jump into the demo and show you how actually this enterprise data coming from Azure AI Search works within our plugin and extend Copilot uh, for Microsoft 365. So we have our samples available on GitHub. If you go to samples folder, you'll see on the top, the C Sharp version of document search is available. And you will see some instructions here too. If you've never done this before, you can follow the setup instructions and you'll be able to create the same experience with the sample. I already cloned this and open Visual Studio. This sample is by the way, available in JavaScript too. In this session, I will show the .NET version, but the same uh, sample is available in JavaScript. So once we clone this and open in Visual Studio, um, you will see that um, we actually have a normal message extension. The most important two files are under search folder. Well, the first one is search app. The second one is AI search. Let's start with search app. Here in a normal message extension, we actually make an API call. Instead, in the sample, we are making a semantic hybrid search function call with our query. So semantic hybrid search function handles the search index and create client and also generate embeddings for our query. To generate embeddings, we're using OpenAI client. And here, uh, once we create the embeddings, we create search options with vectorized query, and then we use embeddings version of our query. And then after all is done, we will retrieve the response with title, content, URL, and file path. And we have a bunch of documents available for you. You don't need to create 
your own documents or you don't need to create your own text if you just want to test this demo. Um, I'll just quickly show you how you can index this data in Azure AI search using OpenAI, Azure OpenAI Studio. This is not recommended for production, but this is a good way to test out at least the sample so that you can understand how the embedding search, how the vector semantic search works together behind the scenes. So let's jump into Azure. I'll go to the browser, open Azure OpenAI Studio, Add a data source. You can select upload files here as an option. You need to create blob storage on Azure and then Azure AI search. Once you select those two, you just need to give a unique index name here, such as call records docs. You need to select add vector search to this source and then select embed embedding model ADA. And we're good to go. We just need to drag and drop files and upload files. Next step for us is just choosing the search type. Here I'll uh, choose vector keyword and then next. So I already ingested this data. I'll just quickly show you how it looks like actual Azure AI search. Here is all the index documents available. And as you can see, the data is not in text or PDF anymore. It is just numbers and we are making a similarity search more than the keyword or text search. So. Once our data is available, we just need to run the app. I'll right click to my message extension, Teams Toolkit, prepare app dependencies, and then select continue. Once my app is ready to run, um, I will just show you how this works as a message extension first, and then I'll show you the experience and co-pilot uh, and the responses. OK, let's hit F5 or select um, DevTunnels and uh, Microsoft Teams. So I will run this app on Microsoft Teams and um, the first experience I just want to show you is what we are receiving in the message extension. I will include, add, add this app as a Teams app, Echo Groceries Call Center C Sharp, and then I will test this out in the chat with Rabia. I'll type Echo and then select call center. I'll type any customer complaints. This will bring me the, the related documents. I'll select one. This will generate an adaptive card. We can get all the text. We can also get the PDF version from Azure AI search, and you can download it and see it in the PDF version too. So let me quickly show you how things work behind the scenes. I'll just put a breakpoint and show you the uh, flow. So again, I'll type echo and we can type the same thing, any customer complaints. We hit the breakpoint, then let's go in semantic hybrid search. We create this search index client with our endpoint and then we generate embeddings. To generate embeddings, we're using OpenAI client. Um, and, and in OpenAI, we're actually using ADA model to create embeddings. Our text now is returning into a vector. So this embeddings we will send inside our search options and response is just going to be our data, title, URL, and everything. So this is going to create our adaptive cards. And the next step for us is just testing this out in Copilot. Quickly, before we jump into the Copilot experience, I want to highlight that Copilot works with plugins. A quick summary how Copilot works with plugins. Copilot is actually a UX with natural language input. Once we our, our user puts a prompt, Copilot searches inside the relevant tools, and our plugin will be a part of the tool catalog. Once Copilot finds that this data can be related to our tool in the catalog, like Echo Groceries Call Center, it will pick the um, it, it will pick the uh, tool in our catalog and do some mapping in the intent and execute the tool. We will retrie retrieve response from our tool and then we will send the response in an adaptive card format uh, or any format that Copilot produces behind the scenes. So in this case, once Copilot finds out that this question is about our catalog, we actually make the search inside Azure AI search, retrieve our data, and send it back to Copilot. Let me show you lastly how this works 
and Copilot environment. So just make sure that you enable your plugin and then we can ask, are there any complaints about Echo Groceries recently? So the same question and Copilot comes up with top three complaints in our data. And the reason why it's three, because I limited the response um, result with three, and you can actually increase or decrease the number of results you want from Azure AI Search. But look at this, we can actually hover over at one and see the full adaptive card with the agent and client conversation. Same for two and same for the last one. So in this case, Copilot is actually not only giving me the summary of the complaints, but it also gives me the reference PDF files. You can just download them, open them as well. So finally, I just want to show you that we can also search specific orders such as, can you share more information about order number 765432 at Echo Groceries? And Copilot can go and find the related order number within the document thanks to hybrid search. With hybrid search, we can get the exact information from uh, Azure AI search. And as you can see, we are returning the adaptive card right here. That's all from me today. And this sample is available in our sample gallery with, together with all the Copilot samples. The, this uh, sample is just one of the awesome samples my team built, and uh, I encourage you to go ahead and try out uh, yourself. And if you have any issues, feel free to reach out. Thank you so much.